No hand? No problem. An Italian woman has become the first woman to try out the first bionic hand with a sense of touch that can be worn outside a laboratory. Scientists in Rome have unveiled a portable bionic hand which uses sensors and electrodes to restore a sense of touch, trialing the technology on a woman who lost her hand 25 years ago. Sensors on the prosthetic hand detect whether an object being held is hard or soft and send electrical signals to a portable computer. The signals are converted into sensory impulses and sent to electrodes implanted in the upper arm, which then relay it to the brain. The process happens in real time, and the woman claimed she felt the sensation spontaneously as though it was her real hand. Unfortunately, she had to give back the prototype once the six-month trial period ended. Scientists are now working on miniaturizing the electronics and making the technology clinically usable. Curious to see what the future of prosthesis will look like? Keep watching. Stray amputee cat fitted with prosthetic paws. A stray cat in Sofia, Bulgaria is getting a second chance at life in more ways than one. A groundbreaking surgery has suddenly changed his fate as he's recently been fitted with prosthetics. Pooh the cat lost his hind legs in an accident last year as a kitten. It's believed he was run over by a car or a train. His difficult situation made him a good candidate for a prosthetic surgery method called ITAP, where the titanium implant pegs against the bone directly. The protruding titanium stems provide a secure attachment point for the cat's paws to snap in, which are made of Bulgarian polymer and rubber. For the procedure to be a complete success, Pooh's skin will eventually grow over the bone and stem tightly enough to prevent infections. Now 10 months old, Pooh the cat is running around fine on his new hind legs and has even been seen cleaning them. Another young amputee cat, Steven, has now also undergone the same procedure. These are Bulgaria's first successful feline prosthetic surgeries and the first in all of Europe outside England. In 2009, a cat named Oscar was fitted with prosthetic hind legs in a similar procedure, which cost roughly $62,000. Pooh's surgery cost roughly $1,600 and was paid for by donations from the animal shelter that cares for him. Now that he's got his legs back, all he needs is a new home. Robocat, anyone? Bionic reconstruction allows for mind-controlled robotic arms. Three Austrian men with brachial plexus injuries have become the first people in the world to receive a mind-controlled prosthetic arm based on a new technique known as bioreconstruction. Brachial plexus injuries, often a result of trauma from high-speed collisions, disconnect the brain from the hand. Researchers were able to record and use the signal from slight contractions in the muscles when the patients move their shoulder, elbow, and forearm normally to open the bionic hand. To close the bionic hand, researchers transplanted the muscle from the thigh into the forearm to amplify a secondary nerve signal. A combination of these two signals allows the patient to rotate the wrist. Patients undergo cognitive training and training with the prosthetic hand attached to their non-functioning hand before amputating their hand to complete the bionic reconstruction. Researchers plan to apply the technique to patients with a functionless hand or leg caused by different injuries. They are also examining ways to decode muscular signals to achieve more intuitive control of the prosthesis. Blind UK patients to receive bionic eyes. England's National Health Service will fund the procedures for 10 blind patients to be fitted with bionic eyes, which should restore partial eyesight. To be fitted with the bionic eyes, patients have to receive implants in their retinas. They also must wear camera-mounted glasses that are equipped with transmitters, along with a small computer attached to their waist. The camera records the scene before them, while a video is sent to the small computer. The image is then transmitted wirelessly to the implant in the eye. Then the image is converted to electrical pulses and sent to the electrodes attached to the retina. The electrodes stimulate the remaining cells in the retina to transmit the image to the brain. The procedures will take place in 2017 and the patients will then be monitored for one year in order to assess how the implants have affected their lives. Here's a few more stories about human trials on bionic spine to start next year. There may be new hope for people with spinal cord injuries thanks to a device that is being hailed as the holy grail in bionics. 
Australian scientists are developing a bionic spine that could allow paralyzed patients to move using the power of thought. The device, a stent electrode recording array, or stentrode, is the size of a small paper clip. Once inserted into the jugular vein using a catheter, it is pushed up to a blood vessel in the brain, where it then expands. Electrodes on the stent record electrical activity from the motor cortex, which controls movement and translates it into commands. The commands are sent to a transmitter embedded just below the chest, which then sends them wirelessly to an exoskeleton or wheelchair, allowing the patient to move. Scientists tested the stent on a sheep for 190 days and are set to do human trials on three paraplegic patients next year. The project was three years in the making and was partially funded by Australia's National Health and Medical Research Council as well as by the U.S. Army.